Today I'm going to um, talk about a, a soup that I love. It's um, a chicken wild rice soup. And I just get a big pot and um, put in chicken. Um, you can eat any kind of chicken. Actually, I, this is a rotisserie chicken. Almost all of it, I, I, we used it for some one other meal, um, just the two of us, so not a lot. And there was about two pounds left, but I'm using one pound of chicken and you can use chicken breast chopped up, you can use um, a whole chicken deboned, however you want to. I'm lucky to have a husband who, when I bring home a rotisserie chicken or a turkey um, after it's cooked, he, um, he will debone it for me, so I'm pretty blessed. Um, and I thank him for that. So this is one pound of rotisserie chicken, which makes it easy. Um, and then it's uh, eight um, cups of chicken broth. So I'm putting in eight cups of water, and um, it would take eight teaspoons of chicken bouillon, um, but a little stronger doesn't hurt, so I'm putting three tablespoons, which is the same as nine teaspoons three teaspoons to a tablespoon. Um, then I'm going to put in about two um, tablespoons of butter and I just cut it according to the line. It's not a um, hard thing to do. One cup of carrots chopped and I've said before I like the little um, baby carrots and just cut three or four in um, a row and cut them up. Um, one cup of celery One cup of fresh onion, you can use dehydrated. This I have here, um, I've gotten in the habit of when I cut up an, an onion, I cut up the whole onion. Um, if I don't need it all, I will um, put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. It freezes a long time and then it really reacts as a, a fresh onion. Um, then the spices, there's um, dried parsley leaves. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of that. And one tablespoon of garlic powder. And a half of a tablespoon of thyme. Now a half tablespoon is the same as one and a half teaspoon. Um, and then it calls for um, two cloves of garlic, minced garlic, and I like it already done. One teaspoon is the same as a clove. So I'll do one clove. two cloves. So that's pretty much what it is. So I put it all in this pot and we'll stir it. Then I will add three um, fourths of a cup, three fourths of a cup of uh, a wild rice mixture. Now this wild rice I get from, it's not mixed nuts, um, I get this from the Bulk Foods in Winco. It's a um, I think red rice and wild rice. Um, my daughter-in-law likes daughter-in-law is the one who gave me the original recipe. She uses the rice aroni wild rice mix and just uses the rice, throws everything else away. But I like this um, this mix at Winco. Um, so then I just stir it all up and I'll cook it for about 45 minutes. Um, so the rice is cooked and the vegetables are soft and then I'll take, I'll leave it on the stove and I'll add one cup of cream, one cup of Parmesan cheese and bring, let that boil for about a minute and then I'll add one half of cup of sour cream and that's when I will salt and pepper it to taste. Um, often when you use the bouillon, 
it seems to be a little saltier and I don't want it too salty. So I'll wait till it's all done and then I'll just put some salt and pepper in it. Um, I'll be back for the taste test. Well, it's all cooked and after you add cream and the sour cream and the Parmesan cheese, it makes a really nice creamy soup. Mm. It really tastes good.